Here we go, round two. So David went first last time. I'm gonna let y'all know what I picked for round number two. It's a classic shape puzzle. Very simple to the point. A puzzle. Oh, someone's taking some notes from Melissa and Doug. <laughs> hey, leave Melissa and Doug out of this, all right? It's my turn? Yeah, it's your oh. turn. Tell this I'm one. just I'm making sure, talk. making sure, glorious one. <laughs> so I went with something that's way out of the box. Definitely. And you get points for that for sure. Once again, these party blowouts, which we've seen countless times because of the birthdays that we've been to, our cousins, our aunts, our uncles, our moms, our dads, our grandpas, they're always present sometimes. So why not use them throughout the year rather than once a year or twice a year or how many birthdays you have? that you celebrate. So, this is my number two, and Alex is also number two, because I'm <laughs> number one. All right, so let's break down how we would use them. All right, it's the shape puzzle. This one is convenient because there's three of each, as you can see, and they're three different colors. I would use this one for some sorting when able, put with green, put with yellow, and put with blue. For some reason, the squares are all different colors, but hey, you can be creative with how you would use it. Once again, you want to maintain control with your child, giving them one at a time. So, if we're working with circles, put the circle in, the child will then have to locate where to put it in. So now we're working on cognition. You can give them all three, so they can put all three in at once. And then they're gonna look up to you and encourage them to ask for more. So once they do ask for more, you can give them more. Puzzles are really great for cognitive ability. Puzzles are really great for fine motor because they have to function and put the puzzle pieces where they belong. It's a simple, it's a safe pick. This is what I would do with the puzzle board. Okay, recess is over. Back in school now. So I'm gonna go with these awesome party blowers. And once again, this is to work on all the muscles and motor skills of the mouth. And once again, you're not gonna be able to have the child automatically um, get the function of the toy or get the function of this item, but you wanna work with them. That's the whole purpose is we're gonna work with them. I know a lot of the times they might just chew on them. Um, I've actually cut them in the past. I made them shorter uh, so they don't have to work as harder, but you could do ready, set, blow. And if the child can't even get it to move, you wanna encourage them every single time. You, you know, even if they can't get it to move, you don't want to use words like you know, discourage them in any, any way. You want to encourage them to just try. Now, another thing you can do that's fun is you can line items up and have them hit each one. I know the boys tend to really, really love this one. You can stack other toys that you have in the house or other items. You can use even these plastic cups. Um, I've stacked the cups, I've stacked Tupperware and we made the, the children knock them down. What you're really focusing on more of that uh, motor skills and that ability to blow out of this item. We're back together, time to recap. David, I was impressed. You came out with a haymaker and it landed, all right? This is a very good option to work on those oral motor skills as David was talking about. And how lining up items can now, it's a fun game, it's a challenge, it's interesting. That's some outside of the box thinking. That was a great one. And remember, in an adaptive way, you can cut the tubes a little bit shorter to make it a little bit easier and get that momentum going. Mm -hmm. Now, with the puzzle, one of the knocks on this particular one. Oh, I'm sorry, puzzle, go ahead. Is that it is really tiny. Some of these shapes are really small. But parents, you're not leaving your child alone when you're working with them. Right. You're working with them. You're providing that social interaction. You're leading the activity because you're not just allowing them to play you're working with them to grow and develop. Engagement matters. It does. Please like, comment, pick who you think won round two.